So I'm not gonna do any fancy intros or singing and some anything for this intro because this episode is too freaking good. So I'm not gonna do anything because it won't do anything justice to it. Also, I know that I'm doing this out of order. I'm going to get to episode 11 soon. I promise. So very much sorry for anything else and everything. If, if, get the reaction. Everybody, it's Jenny Five Flame talking, and welcome back to an episode reaction. Um, uh, when uh, this may be released when the episode itself is released, but right now I am watching uh like um uh early release. I don't know uh episode version of the episode. I don't know. Um, a bunch of people have already watched this episode, and a bunch of more people, and and many of my friends have like come at me like. Dude, you don't you don't wait for the official release. Like you have to watch it. Otherwise, spoilers will be your end and they know how I feel about spoilers. Uh I hate them. I have my spe very own special spoiler bunker that I go into with my spoiler hat, the spoiler gun that shoots anti spoiler bullets because I don't like spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> but yeah. I was told a lot of good things, um, no specific details, I don't even know the name of the episode. But I figured, you know what, rather than wait all, uh, what may be like months for the official episode to come out and potentially spoil myself by looking at thumbnails on YouTube, and you all know how I feel about those, DAYBREAKER! But yeah. So... No more hillering and hollering. Let us just get right to it and watch this episode, which I have seen almost as much hype being built for as with royal problems. But so let us see what's happening. Let's see what's going on. I'm excited and confused and nervous. In three, two, one, go. We're starting with Apple Bloom. Pass some apples. And she walks to town. Is it another festival? Or just a market day? Hello, old man. Old pony. Oh, what is that? Thank you. You must be new. I'm Apple Bloom. I'm Grand Pear. Grand Pear. You mean welcome back to Ponyville. Grand Pear was originally from here before he opened his famous Pear Jam store in Van Hoover. Really? Van Hoover? Oh, back? Van <laughs> Vancouver. Um, well, I needed a change of pace. Oh? Why is, how so? That's just delicious! Wait, apples and pears! Natural enemies! Apple Bloom, why are you conversing with the enemy? How much? No. Wow! Thanks, Mr. Grand Pear, sir! He's very it nice. Real nice meeting you. Aww. That's very really cool, and everyone, like, respects him and stuff. It's really cool. Glad you're back, Sugar Cube. Just in time for breakfast for dinner. Oh, it's an Apple Family episode? I the Yay! Blackjacks at the market today. <gasps> Pear jam? What were you thinking? <laughs> I holy crap! As if as if Granny isn't going to notice that. And I was joking earlier. Are all the comics and fan theories true? Like pears. Funnily enough, I am more of a fan of pear of apples and pears. And so you all share this magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness is an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. Have my little pony to be known. You're all my very best friends. But yeah, I am a bigger fan of apples and pears, just because I find them more delicious. But holy it's crap. Pear jam. The big deal is that there is a long standing feud between the apples and the pears. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Why? Why? Well, uh. The perfect actually, pear I, by John Lewis and really sure. Oh, those two. They're back? good. Uh, nope. Then I guess we should ask Granny. Ask me what? Uh, what goes better with apple fritter flapjacks? Caramel syrup or praline? <laughs> Praline! Ooh, that smells great, 
Applejack. I'm gonna go wash up for supper. Be right back. <sighs> Listen, Sugar Cube. How did she notice the giant Granny pile? The or the pears, she'd get so upset she couldn't talk. Best not bring it up. Okay. No, no, please. So I just passed. Really passed apple history. An apple. I wonder what happened. Me too. But if we can't ask Granny, I don't know who. We can ask Goldie Delicious. If any pony knows about the feud, oh, it's Goldie Delicious, yeah. I'm in. What do you say, Big Mac? Sibling trip first thing tomorrow. Call a uh, season four <laughs> call. Uh, 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 yo, season four callback. Ah, uh, no traveling song on the way. That was that was the best song. All oh, the cats and oh yeah, all the books, documents and stuff. I have heard about cats nah, making a hairball. I've never heard a hairball out of cats. Oh, is it an exit? <laughs> well, anyway, it's so wonderful to see you three. To what do I owe the pleasure? Well, Goldie, uh, we were hoping you could tell us about the uh, uh, feud with the apples and the pears. Oh, oh dear. Well, does Granny Smith know you're here? No, ma'am. But I ran into Grand Perry yesterday, and he was real nice. Maybe the feud was a misunderstanding or something, and we can fix it? Uh, well, I don't know about that, little one, but if it's a story you're after, I, I suppose you have a right to know. All right, let's hear about the apples and pears. Oh, Apple Family History, Volume 137. Hmm. Here we are, feud with the All pears. All right, let's hear it. I mean, pears. My eyes ain't what they used to be. Uh-huh. A long time ago. Sweet Apple Acres wasn't the only farm in Ponyville. In fact, okay. there was another one just right next door. Time to get your apples. Nothing sweeter than Granny! Buying a crisp apple on a beautiful fall day. I always love Unless seeing young Granny Smith. It's wonderful. Bite into a juicy pear. <laughs> Please, pears are just what happens when you ain't no good at farming apples. Pears are nature's candy. Apples are sour. Like the expression on your face right now. <laughs> and so it went. The granny and grand pair were always at each other. And who was the best farmer? Who took better care of their trees? If granny read to her trees at night? And then the little tree reached its branches up to the moon, and the moon said, Good night. Why then, grand pair had special blankets made for his what trees the? so they wouldn't get cold. These freaking good night trees. These freaking farmers. I've got you covered. <laughs> Literally got the blanket. <laughs> young Young Granny Smith is beautiful. In fact, all the apples in the pears were rivals to the core. <laughs> Not rotten to the core. The only apple and pear who ever got along were Bright Macintosh and Pear Butter. Oh, who are those? Psst. Aww. I'm not supposed to talk to you. I'm not supposed to talk to you either. Oh, is this a Romeo and Juliet story? If you hold a buttercup under your chin, it'll make your chin glow. But it doesn't work on me. You see? And I didn't know that these... Does it work on me? I didn't know that Phil, that Phil is sure that young could talk. Buttercup. buttercup. I like that name. Wait an apple picking minute. Bright Mac and Buttercup, those are our parents' names. Of course, Buttercup was just a nickname. What? Your father gave your mother Pear Butter. What? Well, that was her given name. Are you saying we, our mother was a pear? We, we <gasps> said parrots! Parrots! So we are half pear? I can't believe it. How did we not know? Well, no pony called your mother Pear Butter. Parrots? And her cutie mark was a preserved jar, but Pear Butter don't look too much different from Apple Butter, so no clues there. Give me a freaking uh, half minute here! Is there Anything else you can tell us about this? Backslide the parrots! I know they loved each other very much. They had that magical, star-kissed, other side of a rainbow kind of love. You couldn't be around them too long and, and not feel a little bit lighter than air yourself. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, sorry, I just missed that entire thing because my I'd brain is still trying to process. Thirty-eight for that. Uh. I'm sure I could wrangle it in a, in a couple of days. That's all right, Goldie. It was nice just to hear it. Oh, oh, oh. I just remembered so where did they go? Oh my god, I hope I, I hope I'm, I was not serious when I said it was going to be a Romeo and Juliet story. Oak? The firewood sales pony? 
I haven't seen him in ages. He and your dad were thick as thieves back in the day. Y'all should talk to him. Oh my god. What? Well, well, if it isn't the apples, what can I do for you? I know you're not here for firewood. You got more trees than any pony in Ponyville. You're right, but we're not here for that. You come to ask about your dad? Uh, yep. Well, I wondered if you might. Hoped you would. It's nice to talk about him. <laughs> what? We had a lot of laughs. In fact, this one time, well, we were racing to see who could till the fastest, and Bright Mac was leading me in the dust. Bright Mac. He would have won, too, if he wasn't so distracted. They're adorable. I like them. Oh! Pear of butter, what did you do? Uh, I'm not sure. Pear of butter and bright man. She didn't do it, sir. Excuse me? The water silo. It was my fault. <laughs> well, you owe me a new silo, boy. And you? Come with me. I told you. you. Daughter of mine is gonna make goo goo eyes at an apple. Oh my god! This season! Grandpa never would have known it was your father's fault. I just realized that no guy looks a lot like Sam Elliott. To blame for something he did. So Dad was super honest. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, huh, Apple Jack? <laughs> no, they don't! Your dad worked the his parents! all day and then headed over to the pears on his brakes to fix the water silo. I didn't see him for weeks. Not that he minded. Gave him a chance to get to know your mom. Did you know our mom too? Buttercup was a real peach of a pear. But if you want to know more about her, you should ask Mrs. Cake. Mrs. Cake? Mrs. Cake? She and your mom were inseparable when they were fillies. Then let's go. Thanks, Burnt Oak. I'm smiling like an idiot because holy okay, crap. Would it be okay if we stop by again sometime to hear more stories? I'd like that very much. So what happened to them? Is is the are they going to end up explaining what happened to those two? Well, cinnamon sugar on toast. All three apple siblings. Hi, Mrs. Cake. We heard you and our ma used to be real good friends, and we were hoping you could tell us a bit I about. I wonder how they. Oh, I wonder how I they. Love to. They never found out because of the, the apple right pear thing, I guess. I bring it up, but I'm so glad you came. <laughs> oh, for starters, did you all know that it was your mom who convinced me to pursue baking? What, what? is your name, Mrs. Cake? Not always. Back when I was Chiffon Swirl, <laughs> I had no idea Chiffon what I was supposed swell. to do. Chiffon Swirl. But one day, your mom brought me some candied pears, eggs, flour, sugar, and vanilla, and told me to just be creative. Next thing I knew, I was whipping up pear upside down cake, and I got my cutie mark. It was like she knew what I was supposed to do long before I did. Just like you, sugar cake. I was about to say. <laughs> just like her. That was the first of many cakes for me. Oh and my god! Took me through it all. She oh my god, they're adorable! Help with the decorating. Oh, young, young Sa Sharon. And I didn't new catch the name Swell. He is adorable. Over the this years, whole thing is amazing. Oh my god! Things. Your mom did so much for me. One day, I wanted to surprise her with a cake. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> They're so beautiful, both of them. <gasps> oh, it's just you. Sorry. They were afraid I was their parents. I just a little something to say thank you. But I see you're busy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Promise he won't say anything. <gasps> Granny. What in tarnation are you doing, Bright Mac? We do not fraternize with pears. Do we? Oh. 
I like how they don't, you they don't Bright care. Mac? Oh, I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Your families hate each other. I can't help it. We just sort of happened. Then Pear Butter told me the <laughs> sweetest love story I have ever heard. Again, I Happy really hope they don't fully go the Romeo and Juliet route. Six hour anniversary, darling. Six hour anniversary. <laughs> That's way longer than we've been together. I know, but it's the anniversary of the first time I called you Buttercup. Oh it's my okay God. if you didn't get me anything. Actually, I love I these did. two. A guitar for me, but I don't know how to play. Quiet, you. A song from my chief mom. We're far apart in every way, but you're the best part of my day. And sure as I breathe the air, I know we are the perfect pair on a prickly path. I get it. Perfect pair. But it's worth it just to see. I can't. The world tells us it's wrong. You're in my head like a catchy song. Wow, it's just wow. Do you like it? Be honest now. It's the best gift you could have given me. Seasons oh my change God. and leaves may fall. Oh but my I'll God. Be with you through them all. And rain or shine, you'll always be mine. On a prickly path that goes. I'm so happy right now. I am You're the so only happy. One who makes it all worthwhile. And yes, I'm a giant Apple fanboy, but come on. Me too. This is so good. Oh, she said the other way. Hey, no fair. I was gonna tell you the same thing. You're just mad I beat you to it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was going to pull you up, cover your eyes, lead you over here, and say surprise! And then you'd say, oh, Bright Mac, I love it. And then I'd say, I love you. Too bad it didn't work out, though. Yep, too bad. The pears are moving. <gasps> what? <gasps> I mean, I figured the pairs moved, but I didn't know all that stuff happened before with Granny and Grandpa. But wait, when did she, she give birth really to those three then? Parents. Oh, it was. We're moving to Van Hoover? But that's so far. It's what's best. There's acres of untouched land and a warehouse to make our jams. We'll get to expand our business and get away from those gosh darn apples. Pear Butter was devastated, but seeing no way out of it, she did what she had to do. So but, but, but again, what it? about the three? What do you want me to do, Brat Mac? We're moving. I love you, but I have to stay with my family. Then Bright Mac did the most romantic thing I've ever seen any pony do. He, he went with them? What? 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 Yes. We're going to need one more pony to tell that story. Mayor Mayor, you knew our Mayor parents. Mayor? Not as well as Mrs. Cake, but I did play a part in their love story. The night before the Pear family moved, Bright Mac asked me to meet him at the edge of Sweet Apple Acres. <gasps> oh, young. You're on the Oh my god! Have you, ever. I'm not sure what we'll do, but I'm sure of us. So sure that I'd marry you today. Oh my god! I would too. Oh my I think that's my cue. I had the Mayor Mayor does die for hair. Your parents secret that right. wedding, and it was perfect. Oh my god. Right back knew Buttercup I wouldn't want this. a big splash. Reminds me of some pony else I know. <laughs> yep. So they had a special way to seal their vows. I now pronounce you What is going on? What's with all these hair candles? Pear butter! 
Where are you? You're supposed to be packing. What are you two doing? Please see. Ma? Grandpair? Buttercup and I are in love. What? And we'll be married as soon as Mayor Mayor says, Oh, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yay! Doesn't that feel nice? Take that, parents. Oh my god, a real kiss. What are you talking about, married? You two can't be married. Finally, something they to just real. did. Pear butter, enough of this nonsense. We're moving. You gotta stick with your family. But what about but the children? The apples are my family now, too. The forbidden link. You can't be serious. Are you choosing to be an apple over being a pear? Are you making me choose? Oh my yes, god. I am. Then, yeah, I guess I am. Fine. <laughs> well, Granny quickly turned over. I can't believe Grandpa just up and left Ma like so that. So how did I he get Granny so nice when he met Apple Bloom? Any of this. These things are never easy. And it's hard to know when it is a good time. It seems to me that now's as good a time as any. So... To talk to both our grandparents. So, when did those three get born, and why did the parents Excuse leave? Me, Please explain. I'm Applejack, and this year's Big Macintosh. But you already know who we are, don't you? Sure do. Did you really move to Ponyville just for a change of pace? No. Then you came here because you're sorry and you want to get to know us, too? I'm so sorry. I, I, I was just so angry. But I, I never know. It's in the past, Grandpa. You know, Grandpa. Can I call you Grandpa Pear? <laughs> Grandpa Pear. <laughs> what happened to the no, two? Why did they leave? I ain't seen hydra hair you all day. We've been all over learning about our parents. The me you have. And our grandfather. So. Back. Hmm. Sure am. <laughs> oh, the old grandparents <laughs> feuding. I love that. Finding not you and anymore. learning all about mom and Except dad. they're not feuding. I feel like I found a piece of me I didn't even know was missing. But what happened to them? Where did they go? Story makes me feel closer to them somehow. I'm sorry. I should have told you all about them sooner. And I should have been here. Nah, I can't believe I let a silly feud keep me from my family. Nothing's keeping you from us now. Let's not miss anything else. Applejack's right. Welcome back, prickly old pear. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you old crab apple. Now that we're all together, there's something we want to show you. Mom and Dad left us something to remember them by. Come on! But where are they? Where did they go? Why are they gone? Oh my god, is this a my god? <laughs> Anything's gonna make it through. It's apples and pears. <laughs> oh my god, the freaking Buttercup song is being played instrumental. I just heard I just heard the the, the music. It's her song and instrumental. I think it is. Ah I am so happy but also stressed because they addressed the past, the family, and everything, but they never explained what happened with the parents. Didn't even give a hint at it. Hasbro, why you do this to me? Okay, that's it. But, oh my god. Oh my god. What a fantastic episode. It's amazing. But they still didn't. Tell what happened! Why do they keep... Like... It's the same thing with Scootaloo and the theories of her being adopted like an orphan. Why did they just tell us, damn it? At least with Scootaloo they've given more hints and like... Concrete... Not not a concrete proof, but more like concrete hints at what, what her life was like when she was younger. 
But they still don't say anything here. Unless somehow I missed it. Unless I talked over it. In that case, I am an idiot. Then I am the idiot. But yeah. What the hell? This is amazing. This is... Oh my god. I am in... I am... I'm in love. This is my... This is this is my new favorite episode. This is my new favorite episode of season seven. Up there in my top five favorites of the entire show. And no, it's not only because of my massive Applejack uh, fanboy pandering things. It's because this is a great episode. That's what it is. This is an amazing episode. Oh my god. I love this. And I'll always treasure this episode. Because, oh my god! I don't know if I overreacted to this episode. I may have. But for now... I'll just love it. I'll just enjoy it. I'll fancast them to all of my friends who have already watched this episode. And they'll be like... Welcome to the en Enlightened Ones! And maybe they can tell me if I miss anything hinting at what happens to their parents. Though these these uh, two right, I think they're sister writers, either sisters or best friends, but they have produced some amazing episodes so far, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And Buttercup is extremely adorable. Okay, I I I would I will just sit here and fan guess them. So let's end it now. So thank you all for, all for watching, my dear friends. Please tell me in the comments below what you think about this episode, my reaction, and my channel in general. Please save this both positive and negative. So I can use it all to grow and evolve to a better entertainer for you guys. But as always, my dear friends, thank you all so very much for watching. My name's Sint Johnny Fireflame, and I'll see you guys next time.